clicking sounds, sounds that reveal the presence of radioactive rays. Radioactivity and radioactive materials have many peacetime uses. But we know too that they can be used harmfully as in atomic bombs. The chance of your being hurt by an atomic bomb is slight, but since there is a chance, you must know how to protect yourself. We have the national defenses to intercept an enemy, and we all form a team to help each other through emergencies. You are on that team. What is your job? What if a warning siren sounds? What should you do? Look for cover, the nearest cover. Don't try to make it home unless home is the nearest place to go. Don't hesitate, find cover. Everyone is in on this. Strangers will understand. Civil defense teams will go into action immediately. If you're home, you've work to do. Hi, Susie. Everything's fine upstairs. How are you doing here? Okay, I guess. That's good. Here's a clean, well-prepared shelter in the basement. Ted and Sue have a battery radio. And they have soda ash and stirrup pump fire extinguishers. They have other emergency supplies, too. A flashlight, a well-equipped first aid kit, with plenty of bandages, tape and scissors. A Red Cross first aid book, a few cans of food, a good supply of water, blankets, and an electric lantern in reserve. You know, Susie, this stuff would come in handy on a camping trip. I'd a lot rather be on a camping trip. Say, what would we do if we didn't have a basement? At school, they told us we should be away from windows and behind double walls, you know, like an inside hall. Ted's right. If you live in an apartment house, you can't all go to the basement. Head for a shelter area. Take your place on the floor. Here's one good way to protect your eyes and neck in case of a bombing. The airburst of 3.01 p.m. was zeroed on Union Station. Heavy damage extends from about 14th Street North to as far south as the waterfront. <laughs> you know, we're lucky. To West that blast was miles Stay undercover there. unless you have civil defense to... I've just been handed a bulletin. There's been an underwater burst at the waterfront. Water thrown up by the bomb is falling as mist and rain, and it is radioactive. Don't drink tap water. It may be contaminated. Ted and Sue are waiting for the all clear. I'll see who it is. Hello, who's there? It's your block warden, Mr. Carlson. Come on in, Mr. Carlson. Hello, Ted. Hello. Ted, this is Mr. Franklin, our radiological monitor. He's here to check for any radioactivity. Well, there's no damage here. No, it's been very good here. Hello, Sue. Say, have you seen my dad lately? He's down at headquarters, and boy, he's really busy. Yeah? Say, Mr. Carlson, is there anything I can do outside to help? No, Ted, everything is under control. You just stay here till the all-clear signal is given. You've done a good job. Thank you, Mr. Carlson. Bye, Sue. Bye. Bye. A good job. That's what everyone must do to be safe. In this early and troubled stage of the atomic age, our very lives may depend on always being alert.